Hi, and welcome to the ASCRS Society Chat for July 2022. I thought I'd start with an update on our video mentorship series. The ASCRS Video Mentorship Series was conceived less than two years ago as an educational initiative of ASCRS President Dr. Neil Hyman. This fantastic initiative was led by Drs. Alessandro Ferreira, Mike McGee, and Lisa Cannon with the aim of building a community of mutually respectful learners who would share and discuss tricks of the trade by reviewing and sharing operative videos. The team built a curriculum and put it together so it would focus on one step of one procedure at a time. For example, splenic flexure takedown. The steps identified in the curriculum are each a topic of a webinar in the series. Both members and non-members can submit videos on any or all of the topics identified in the curriculum, which might be included in the live sessions. Videos undergo single blind review and are then presented anonymously. The video mentorship sessions launched in early 2021 with six live sessions scheduled, each moderated by three ASCRS member volunteers. The pilot series was really successful and there were more than 600 people who enrolled to view these videos. They came from 39 countries. And so when we moved into this year, it launched in January with six more live sessions being scheduled and there are already 330 people who've enrolled to watch these, both members and non-members, and there are two more live sessions to come in September and November. The call for videos is open for the remaining topics, and if you want to visit the Video Mentorship Series webpage on the ASCRS website, you will find details there. Recordings of the full 2021 VMS and recordings of the first four sessions of the 2022 series are all available on our very own ASCRSU. In addition, the new video, Fixation of Mesh to the Pelvic Floor During Ventral Rectopexy, which is going to be moderated by Drs. Francone, McCool and Lee, will be coming up live on July 29th. And this will have interoperative-based coaching sessions with a goal again of sharing operative techniques and improving procedural confidence. During the webinar, the moderators will review videos of fixation of mesh to the pelvic floor during eventual mesh rectopexy. This will be followed in August by a webinar on artificial intelligence in surgery, asking the question whether machine learning is going to lead to big disruptions in training or in practice. What about some other society highlights? Well, these would include that we've established a 125th year anniversary task force, as that anniversary is coming up soon. And that's kindly going to be chaired by Dr. Guy Arangio. And that will help us celebrate this key milestone for the society in 2024. So we've time to prepare. This is in addition to an update of the 100th anniversary book, which is currently underway. We continue to work on ways to increase member engagement and to open up opportunities for committee participation. Examples would be potentially shortening terms for committee members so that more of our colleagues have the opportunity to get involved with committees. One such way to get involved right now is through the ASCRS Surgical Leadership Institute, which takes place on October 14th and 15th, just prior to the American College of Surgeons in La Jolla. There are fewer than 20 open slots available and thanks to our Vice President, Dr. Sonia Ramamurthy and the team who've put this course together. We're all excited that finally we're going to actually be able to have it happen. Additionally, our textbook is one of the really important products that our society and our team put together. Well, you'll be delighted to hear that the fourth edition of the ASCRS textbook has just been published. Issues should be available very soon, according to our partner Springer. And I just want to congratulate the editorial team of Dr. Scott Steele, Tracy Hull, Neil Hyman, Justin Makel, Tom Reed, and Chuck Whitlow. In addition, obviously, there are many members and others who've put chapters together for this textbook. It's going to be really exciting to see the new edition. I mentioned ASCRSU. Well, no surprise to anyone, this continues to go from strength to strength. 
In June, we had 1,400 users, more than 1,000 of whom were from the US, but obviously that leaves a very significant international portion and viewership. About two-thirds of viewers used web or computer access, and about 30% used an Apple operating system. CARCEP and Fundamentals of Rectal Cancer Surgery were their top programs for giving CME. And for CARCEP, more than 5,500 questions were answered last month with a pass rate of 98.8%. Pretty impressive. So after those updates, now we're going to transition into our routine. We heard last month from the Rectal Cancer Coordinating Committee. Well, this month we're going to transition to interview and hear from Dr. Sergei Kaitov, who is chair of our Inflammatory Bowel Disease Committee. Dr. Kaitov is going to give us an update on the mission of the committee, some of the current projects and activities, and opportunities to participate or learn more. Welcome, Sergei. My name is Sergei Kaitov. I live in New Jersey suburban area and work in New York City. I'm a colorectal surgeon practicing at Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, New York. I serve as a chair of the IBD committee. IBD is a complex problem which sometimes surgeons run away from, but true IBD surgeons who are devoting their life to IBD management within ASCRS are the experts and they have the best gratitude with good outcomes of their patient and it's like lifetime commitment if you will. The mission of the IBD committee is to promote the adoption of best clinical practices and research within the IBD community as well as patient and healthcare provider education through participation in IBD related meetings and social media outreach. It is a relatively new committee in the society, but it has over 40 members, including international members, as well as, well as wonderful ASRS support staff. Dr. Stefan Holubar serves as vice chair and Dr. Alessandro Ficera is ASRS executive council representative for the committee. IBD committee members work in multiple areas. Main directions include participation and leadership in IBD-related meetings, our annual meeting, and multiple GI IBD-related meetings like DDW, AIBD, Crohn's Colitis Congress, ECHO, where our members increase ASRS surgeons' visibility within IBD community. Dr. Samuel Eisenstein and Dr. Stefan Holbar lead IBD Collaborative of National Surgical Quality Improvement Program by American College of Surgeons to continue improvement in outcomes and quality of IBD care on national scale. There are numerous sites enrolled and there is an ongoing interest to expand participation. Committee members are actively participating in IBD-related surgical research and clinical trials. Dr. Ficker and Eisenstein are co-chairs of Surgery Research Network of Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Members of the committee are actively participating in the selection and evaluation of research proposals. Dr. Poilin is leading IBD Social Media Outreach Subcommittee. Currently, the committee is working on creation of series of moderated video debates in controversial topics of IBD surgery, like ileal J pouch creation, methods of surgical anastomosis after resection for Crohn's disease, effects of biologics on surgical outcomes in IBD, and many more. This project gives an opportunity to all committee members to participate and content will be made available online through ACRS social media outlets. Dr. Holubar is leading new initiative to develop colorectal fellow in Trustable Professional Activities or EPAs. This is work in progress with intention to develop best guidelines for colorectal surgery trainees in the field of IBD. This project involves close collaboration with Association of Program Directors in Colorectal Surgery and also American Board of Colorectal Surgery. ASRS members interested in participation in IBD committee should indicate that in annual questionnaires distributed by ASRS, our members list is reviewed and updated annually. 
we encourage all interested ASRS members to participate in Surgical Research Network project and IBD Nisquick project. Sergey, thank you very much for the update from the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Committee. I'd remind everyone that we continue to be committed to provide webinars of interest to our members. In my weekly update this week, you will see at the end the list of sessions scheduled for the remainder of this year. I hope everyone has a great summer, and if you have ideas for this society chat, please let us know. And always remember, this is your specialty, and ASCRS is your society. You are part of this 122-year legacy of surgeons who have made our specialty what it is today. And together, we will make it all that it can be tomorrow. Thank you.